I mean, come on, the grift from these Trumps is just so blatant and so offensive and so weird. Take a look at what Melania just posted. She goes, let's honor and celebrate all mothers with love and gratitude at MelaniaTrump.com. And when you click on the link, it takes you to a website where she is selling this necklace right here. And then she writes in the image, her love, an exquisite jewel filled with immense gratitude. That's apparently a quote from Melania Trump, although we'll have to check whether that not whether or not that is plagiarized because Melania has a history of plagiarizing the words of others. As our editor-in-chief, Ron Filipkowski, writes... You know, I can do that without sending $245 to the Trumps for a fake gold necklace. We did a story about this at MidasTouch.com, and this comes as Donald Trump is in week two of the criminal trial for his falsification of business records to interfere with the results of the 2016 election. We've been consistently reporting on Donald Trump's grifts, whether it's selling the fake gold sneakers, whether it's the NFTs, whether it's selling the uh, sticky Bibles. I mean, there's no uh, depths to the depravity and griftiness there. And Melania's just like Donald Trump. Um, here is what Melania is selling. Let's take a look at uh, it on the website. Her love and gratitude necklace, $245. It's a customizable necklace designed by Melania Trump to honor all mothers, and it's one-of-a-kind customization. Each necklace can be engraved with names, initials, or significant dates and create one-of-a-kind piece of jewelry. Those who purchase her love and gratitude can also receive a limited-edition digital collectible. Former First Lady Melania Trump's signature is included on each necklace. When you take a look at her signature, it looks kind of just like the signature of Neiman Marcus. And she goes on to say, The flower pendant measures one inch. It includes a 16 to 18 inch adjustable chain and is made in gold vermeil. And it says it's made in America right there. Um, and if you just take a look at... Here's a post by Linda Suzanne who goes, I don't know anything about jewelry, so I thought I'd look up this gold vermeil. Turns out that gold coating rubs off in as little as six months. How long will gold vermeil last? Over time, plating can wear off significantly if the jewelry frequently exposed is exposed to water or chemicals. However, on average, with proper care, gold-plated vermeil can last anywhere from six months to a few years. It is essential to avoid exposing it to harsh chemicals or wearing it in the shower or while swimming. I just took a look at some other um, necklaces that are being sold that, that look similar. This one's being sold for uh, $80 right here. Here's the story that we posted on MidasTouch.com. Melania is selling $245 necklace for Mother's Day. Melania uh, launched another product to grift off the tapped out MAGA faithful. She has sold NFTs and Christmas ornaments at exorbitant prices since leaving the White House. You pause there. You remember that she was selling NFTs, I think, even before Donald Trump was selling NFTs. Like she sold like a man on the moon NFT, and she basically took all of the kind of major events in American history and all these symbols of America and started selling them herself as uh, NFTs. Um, then she sold that Christmas ornament, and again, for exorbitant prices. Um, and now she's out with a customizable necklace to commemorate Mother's Day. The necklace went on sale on Melania's website this morning for the bargain price of $245, and you're allowed to have it engraved, but wait, there's more. The website also states that anyone who purchases the necklace will also receive free of charge a limited edition Melania digital collectible. The best part is that Melania's signature is engraved on the back. It is also advertised as genuine gold vermeil. 
thumb on folks. And um, remember, too, uh, some other data points about Melania. Uh, we previously covered here how um, Melania was paid about $155,000 for a speaking engagement by Donald Trump's PAC in 2021. And then the grift accelerated where um, she was paid around, well, her stylist was paid around $400,000. I think between her stylist and her hairdresser, it's close to like half a million dollars being paid for by Mr. and Mrs. Magadonia or paying for Melania's lifestyle. I just want you to think about that for a moment. Melania is supposed to be the wife of a billionaire and she is using the money from people who really can't afford these things. I mean, Mr. and Mrs. Magadonia, who Donald Trump and the MAGA movement gets all worked up about the economy and all of these things, even though the economy is far better under President Biden than it was under Donald Trump. But anyway, I recognize that, you know, it's you know, people have to work lots of jobs. It's, it's tough out there. I, I get it. I get it. But they're spending their money to Trump's pack so that they can pay for Melania's hairdresser. They can pay for Melania's stylist. They can pay for Melania to make exorbitant profits off of NFTs and Christmas ornaments and other things that she's selling on her website. Stephanie Winston Walkoff used to be best friends with Melania, and Stephanie's been on our show before. And as Stephanie Winston Walkoff said, I sat across from Melania Trump on her airplane and took this photograph on my iPhone. Believe me, she knows. She and he, referring to Donald Trump, are one. They're the same person. Um, and remember, we've reported recently, and it was page six that broke this story, that Melania had recently renegotiated um, her prenuptial agreement. She did a postnuptial renegotiation, um, and many believe it was basically a, a threat, if you will, to Donald Trump in order for her to go out and uh, campaign with him or to be seen with him. Um, and she used that as leverage for the negotiation. That's what others um, uh, had reported. But in any event, it's believed that she renegotiated her prenup. Remember this moment right here that um, when Melania, this was recent, after Donald Trump underperformed in Florida, Melania was asked if she's finally going to appear somewhere on the campaign because she wasn't showing up. And remember what she said. Hi, Mrs. Trump. Mrs. Trump, are you going to return to the campaign trail with your husband? Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Are you going Yeah, that wasn't very convincing. And here, well, this was in the past two weeks or so, remember they had that fundraiser for Kerry Lake and they were throwing these events at Mar-a-Lago. And in order to try to get Melania to come out of hiding, they, Donald Trump basically had one of his MAGA people at Mar-a-Lago give Melania an award for helping children. Like She's never helped children, in my opinion. Um, you tell me your opinion, but um, they gave her an award for that, and she didn't show up, so Donald Trump accepted the award on her behalf, and he, like, held it up as though he was actually, like, the winner of something. It's like, such a humiliating thing. We're on board. We want to take this opportunity... I know my uh, first lady couldn't get here, but we want to give Melania Trump the Child Advocacy Award because she said she just she did so much for children when she was first lady. So, sir, this is for Melania's petition. And this was over the weekend. Remember how all of the media hyped up that Melania was going to be at this big LGBTQ event uh, for the log cabin Republicans at Mar-a-Lago. And this was going to be a time where she um, was out there you know, really rallying in the campaign. And I was thinking to myself, what, she's going to show up for like two minutes in a tiny room? Remember I did that report? Sure enough, everything with them are scams. But the media ran with that. Remember the media was like, she's coming on the campaign trail. Look what's going to happen. Well, Here's the ballroom where it happened, as our editor Ron Filipkowski said. 
It doesn't really look like they needed to use the ballroom for the huge, I'm joking, log cabin LGBT Republican event at Mar-a-Lago, or as Grinnell called it, historical. I mean, let's take a look at this small room that it was in. Um, and here's Melania Trump beginning her speech at the log cabin Republican event. Just take a look at what went down. Play this clip. Thank you so much for your kind introduction and beautiful words. Uh, good evening. So great to see so many familiar faces here tonight. Uh, it is an honor and a privilege to be in your presence once again surrounded by friends and allies who share the common goal of promoting equality for all. So as Donald Trump is sitting in a courtroom in Manhattan for a falsification of business records for making a hush money payment to a porn star while Melania had just given birth to Barron and some of the evidence that's going to start to come out uh, this week uh, is going to be that Donald Trump then before Stormy Daniels, Donald Trump was using AMI, the parent company of the National Enquirer, to make hush money payments to another woman, Karen McDougal, who Trump was having sex with while Melania was pregnant. Um, while Donald Trump is sitting there, Melania is out there. You know, I, 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 it looks like you know her insurance policy is that she's going to grift off of people and sell necklaces and this and that and sell more NFTs and um, it, 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 it's all incredibly, incredibly embarrassing. Trump sitting there, as we described before, I mean, as some people have said, just the the putridness exuding from him as he sits there. Um, they said he ordered like $700 worth of McDonald's. As evidence comes out about all of the porn stars and Playboy people he was having sex with when Melania was pregnant and Melania gave birth and she's selling these things. She's selling these to, uh, gold vermeil necklaces. And Trump selling sneak sneakers and NFTs. Ugh, it's just gross. It's just all around just just gross people I'm Ben Mycellus this is the Midas Touch Network hit subscribe let's get to 3 million together thanks for watching